A while ago, I was doing bedtime routine with my kid, and he was really into the Bible at this point. He loved reading Bible stories. We'd read them over and over and over again. And uh, I bought him this Bible because, you know, you know how you don't just buy one. You buy like a bajillion storybook Bibles. And I had bought one and he was loving it, absolutely loving it. And he'd keep it with him in bed and he'd read it, you know, while I was gone, while he'd flip through the pictures uh, while I was gone. And I began to notice that there were, the way the stories were told wasn't a way I was comfortable with. God was very angry all the time. And it just was a, a very sort of almost doom and gloom kite version. And I, I just thought, I'm going to disappear that. So I disappeared it off of the options list. And, uh, and he asked about it. And in my attempting to explain, I fumbled a bit. And so I was, I was telling him, well, I, I, I don't want you to read it. Cause it's not, it's not really the whole story. It's not, it's not really what the story actually is. Uh, and he said, what do you mean? It's the Bible. And I said, well, no, 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 the, this is the Bible. Like my, my, my big Bible's the actual Bible. And he said, well, just it's just like mine. And I thought, oh, I've never explained to him the difference between the storybook Bibles that we have and the actual Bible. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. So I said, no, no, this is this one has all the words. This is the the truth. This is this is the truth we can put our feet on. This is the words that will never change. This is, uh, God has so many promises about the Bible. And when we read the words, we will be encouraged and we will be strengthened and we will be drawn close to him. All of these words are the words that are supposed to go into our hearts and stick there forever. The storybook Bibles are taking some of the stories here and telling them us, telling it to them, to us in, a, in an interesting way, a, a, a way that talks to us more about the whole of scripture. It tells it in exciting ways, but but that's not what we put our feet on. We put our feet on the Bible. We put our heart on the Bible. And so he touched his storybook Bible and he said, so is this, is this Bible a lie? And I thought, no, 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 no. It's not a lie. It's just not the whole truth. It's not all of the truth we have. That's all. And so they're really wonderful things for us to look at. But the truth we're supposed to put our heart on is the Bible. And so for the next three months, he got really into wanting me to uh, find the actual passage in scripture. And then he wanted to look at the pictures while I read to him the real words. And we were on that for about three months. And there was something in them that developed this real deep love for the actual words of scripture that lasted so long. It totally surprised me that at a young age, I think he was four at the time, that at a young age, the, the strength of the real words of scripture he craved and he wanted more of and he wanted to listen to it. And the storybook Bibles began to illuminate and set alight the stories of scripture for him. And so as you buy these storybook Bibles, which are so useful for kids and so wonderful for them to engage with pictures and other words, don't forget to teach them about the, the solidity of the real word Bible, the ones that have all the truth in it, so that as they grow... They don't get weaned off of one Bible for another, but they know that the Bible that lasts forever goes on and on and on. And these Bibles what help us understand and see it better.